Today we're going to try something that may not even be possible, but if it's not, then at least we'll die trying. So we are once again going to combine two mods, one of which is the boss mod, which allows you to play a boss on any map. So I'm going to play Logs, Lunarius, Medium Standard, and while the other mod is the 5 of 5 Ultimate Cross Padding, made by Doom Bubbles. And together we're going to have a challenge to see if just one 5 5 tower on the screen at all times can beat a boss. That's all there is to it. Now, uh, as for how I'm gonna play it out, I think how I want to start is uh, maybe uh, balloon trapping. I mean, if you're gonna pick one tower for the early game, I'm pretty sure a balloon trap will make you the most money while also defending rounds. The only problem is that it costs like uh, $4,000 to get the first one up, so that means the first 20 rounds is basically gonna be making uh, zero dollars, and I guess there's not a lot of balloons in the early 20s, so we're not gonna be making much money either. So maybe it was better if I went for a Merch Man, but Again, we may do multiple months of this if I uh, end up getting stuck. So yeah, as expected, Balloon Trap pretty much at about round 21. So uh, I'm also going to cross path it with, I guess, Camo, so 034. I doubt I need any more than that to be able to survive Log, so uh, that's as much as I'm going to do. Hopefully I place it in a spot where it can reach the intersection. It's pretty good to me. So the gameplay of 1 Tower 5 and 5 seems pretty chill, so we'll just uh, see how much money we have going into round 40. And uh, not sure what... Or I want for uh, Balloon Aries and the Balloon Aries insides. Off the top of my head, I feel like a Mobile or Cursive Cluster work well if, again, the Cursive shots apply the extra mob damage, which I'm pretty sure, when I call playing this mod, it doesn't. But I guess I can always experiment. So yeah, we only have $20,000 to work with after selling the NG, so uh, far less than if I were to be able to farm normally. So as I said, I guess I'm going to try out Bomb first. The problem is that, though, there's camos at 42, so I kind of have to be Balloon Aries like really really quick i'll do uh, three three four and hopefully that's enough let's see how much it does against the moab oh my god that spread is too big but i think it's fine though i think it's chunking down balloon Aries pretty nicely at this rate it should also again clean up the inside so i'll just leave it as strong because i'm pretty sure it just destroy this rams uh even with its secondary shots yeah i don't think tier one was ever in question of uh if it could be beaten or not it's just again can i beat it before camos come in i have a little bit of time since this map is really really long also, do I want to get back Balloon Trap, like, after Tier 1, or is there a better option? I feel like, do you think Sniper Farming would be okay? Because that would hit Camos, too. I'm on 1,000 HP left. I could just sell it early, if I really want to. You know what? Let's do it now, right? 43 HP. Uh, Sniper, right? Uh, 2, 4, 2, to start off. I can't believe we left Balloon Air at 23 HP, but there we go. That was a pretty easy Tier 1. But yeah, I'm kind of curious whether or not one tower can actually beat a tier 5 Blooming Arius, because that's got 3 million HP. I do remember from playing a uh, 5 of 5 Towers mod that there's some that are just really broken. Like, I think the 5 of 5 Boomerang is pretty cracked. Like, again, if I remember, the Boomerang was, like, as strong as the Boomerang Paracon, but without, like, costing as much. So yeah, perhaps things might be a little bit too trivial now. I want to see if I can possibly keep the Sniper, for tier 2 here. So what I'll do is I'll do a 255. 355 on strong. And we'll see if that's enough. Yeah, definitely. Okay, perhaps I overestimated the difficulty of Balloon Aries because this is uh <laughs> kind of a breeze so far. You know, so much of a breeze that I think I'm just gonna jump over to Elite Balloon Aries because I think we can see where this is going already. If I just kept playing normal. Like for one, I think this already changes the strategy for tier 1 because I can't go for the... Uh, uh, the bomb anymore since there's camos. Unless maybe you think I could start with like a spike factory for camos. Uh, like, just spawn a couple of them in the back. Is that worth it or should I go for something else? You know, let's try at least. So basically, you want long life spikes. And how about one, two, three? Three, two, three. Okay, prob I probably didn't need that mu many spikes because like it's only a couple camos at 42. But I'll do enough that'll leave me satisfied for like maybe to 47 or something like that. And uh, again, do I, should I go for Assassin this time or not? Nah? nah, we'll go 335 again. Oh, I guess one concern is, uh, did I make sure the spikes are not going to get eaten up by Boonerous? Because he's got a pretty uh, big hitbox. I'm pretty sure it's going to eat up, like, the right half, but... Oh, crap, I ate all of it. Oh, no, no, sorry. Long life spikes only last, uh, two rounds. It's not like a permanent spike, guys. Uh, it's a shame it doesn't work, because, uh, yeah, that would have been really nice to... Uh, just half straight up, but, uh, back to the drawing board, I guess. Okay, here's an idea. How about we try to keep the Engineer until round 40 passes so that we can, uh, get the 
camo, we're able to take camo, and then we don't have to worry about camos anymore until 45. And then, in fact, we could even tank around 45, I think. I'm gonna buy a this, by the way, just so I can beat the uh, AI mob, because that's pretty beefy. This does progress Blueberries through the track a little bit, but I think he'll be alright now. Let's go for it quickly. Something like this, and hopefully, it, yeah, the range is good enough that I think we'll be able to pop before it gets, you know, all the way on the right side over there. Actually, I'm not quite sure if we can pop this before, like, the camels will kill us, because, again, we can tank 45, but 47 I cannot tank, so I kind of got to beat this in, like, two rounds. Luckily, 45 is pretty long. Again, I am more to just buy or sell again, but I don't really want to do that, because it costs me a lot of money. I guess what I could do is I could just go for the sniper. Because, like, that can surely handle all these rams, right? I bet I can afford a pretty good one. Like, it's only two skulls worth of things. So, okay, let's do it. So, 2 4 2 quickly. 2 4 3. Uh, we'll do 2 4 4. No, no, no. Elite Sniper? Yeah, Elite Sniper. It has more pierce that way. And I think that can just take down, uh, take it down the rest of the way. I'll quickly buy Delhi full auto rifle if I need to. Nope, okay. That's good. Good to know we don't need that to survive the, uh, Sarams then. Hell, maybe I could have just skipped the bomb altogether and just gone for the sniper. I don't know. I mean, logs is pretty long, as I said. You think it's enough to solo a tier 2 elite? I think if I go for Cripple Moab, definitely. That plus 5 damage will help a lot. How much money do we have going into round 60? Uh, 40,000. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Like, watch this, guys. Bam. Holy crap, look at that DPS. That's like 2 3,000. Definitely enough to chunk down a tier 2 elite. Don't forget, I haven't even bought the uh, full auto rifle yet, which I'll do now for it. Uh, I think, yeah, 3x attack speed. Or 2x attack speed, sorry. And then Elite Defender, too, if I really want to. The thing is, am I content with just the sniper as my only farming option? For, like, uh, 60 to 80? I mean, I guess there's not really many better options. Like, there's the Marine, but I'm pretty sure they make similar amounts. There's uh, Spear of the Forest, which doesn't make as much. Yeah, I think sniper is just the way to go for, like, farming and damage. Now we gotta ask ourselves, is that gonna be enough for, like, Tier 3 Elite? Because that would be nice and all. In fact, I'll buy Elite Defender right now just to show you how fast Lunaris is being uh, shredded. It's like 5,000 DPS. Again, money just feels like a luxury at this point. Because uh, these 5 of 5s are... I can pretty much afford, like, the best of the ones if I really want to get it. But here we go. I'll go ahead and put it on Strong just to show you. Yeah, that is about 5,000 DPS. It'd be nice to purposely leak a life, but I'm not going to take a ceramic because that would obviously kill me. Loki, I think this is enough, though, because remember, like, there's so much track length to go, and that was already one eighth of the damage, and, uh, yeah, 5-5 five, five Sniper can indeed take down the bad inside very quickly. Hell, maybe I even overestimated the power of the Elite Blue too, because it's just really a meat shield, and, like, yeah, some 5-5 five, five Towers, again, have some insane synergies, Sniper being one of them. That's basically like a Paragon. Well, not quite. Paragon will obviously do damage way faster than this. But for like a eighty thousand dollar tower, hell yeah, that's uh, that's really damn good. All right, looks like that's gonna do it for tier three elite. Now, uh, obviously, tier four will not work. Given that it took us twelve rounds to beat Lunaris, we will clearly not have enough for tier four, which is eight million, I think. Right? Well, I figured we might as well try the Boomer Paragon for tier four. Just because that is the cheapest. Well, uh, by Boomer Paragon, again, I mean 5 of 5. But uh, for now, we'll just milk some more money with the grades. In fact, maybe I'll even keep the Sniper for, like, a couple rounds or so. Just in case the money does matter. Because, like, I don't know. I feel like I could get a, a really insanely strong Super Monkey. If I have enough money for that. Which, right now, uh, it'll be tight. With Legend Knight being that expensive. So, again, maybe up to round 104. We'll keep this guy. Alright, here's round 104. Yeah, not even close. So, uh, Boomer, 5 and 5 time. So, Blave Lord, Permacharge, and Mob Dumb. How much damage are we doing to Blunaris? Well, it seems actually almost as much as the Sniper. But if I use the ability, that is a lot faster. Maybe like 8, 9,000 DPS. Actually, it's not as, not as good as I thought. Uh, hang on. I can't tell if this thing got Shadow nerfed or what. Also, we're going to lose here because uh, I don't have a DP bomb power. Remember, uh, there's no count protection for anything but the claves. So, okay, maybe 2-4 isn't as easy, easy as I thought. So, that leaves us with the two options. As I said earlier, there's Super Monkey, but there's also Spike Factory. I feel like Super Mines plus Carper Spikes will go crazy. And I guess Carper Spike too. Personally, I think I'm down to try the Spike Factory, so let's do it. 
Super mines, carbon spikes, come in, right up. Here we go. Holy, that's like what? 200k damage from one carbon spike ability. I feel like perma spike won't really do us any favors because I'm pretty sure, like, since it was right on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see that? Because it was right on top of the Blunaris, like, the spikes get eaten up before they even reach the track. That's how the tower works, it seems. Uh, okay, I guess now it's a little bit out of range, so these guys are staying a little bit. So maybe time for a spike, but I guess I don't I don't want to buy it right now. Just in case this actually ends up working. So maybe if I'm a little bit short in importing a better super monkey. Because I'm not sure if this can actually, uh, like, beat tier 5. It's doing okay for tier 4 so far. Also, maybe it's good we get a, we get a first spike because the uh, timing out of the big spikes allows us to, I guess, do damage a little bit faster. Yeah, not to mention, too, that when the round ends, uh, all the spikes that were down for two rounds also explode. So, yeah, I guess there's no harm in just keeping it around. It does look like we have enough in the tank, though. It's also really satisfying just seeing the burst of explosions all at once. Yeah, there's like five seconds of like a bunch of mines exploding. Pause. Relief. And then back to exploding. I think it has to do with the spike storm ability. Mines timing out. And it looks like we all have enough for tier 4. That's not that's awesome. But is tier 5 possible? I guess we will find out. So again, I did mention I wanted a cross pad super monkey. That's pretty much the only thing that could be better than a 5 5 5 spike up here. Unless I'm forgetting something. But uh, yeah, we definitely don't have enough right now. The thing is, like, it's going to be a vanilla temple because it's a one tower only. Kind of stinks. Let me just see, though, how much damage with Sun Avatar. Um, okay, that's definitely better than uh, Spike, I think, right? Oh, I can't even afford Anti Balloon? Oh, what a buzzkill. I actually can't tell if this is better than uh, the Spike or not. But looking at the, the, the damage, how much it's doing right now, uh, it's not very good. Yeah, shame. Looks like the Spike Hadley is by far the best one. So, let's restart here and... Uh, let me just think if there's possibly anything that's better. Okay, probably not better, but how about a 5-5 five, five, Ace? I'm just curious about how much uh, DPS is doing. Uh, looks like about 2,000. Yeah, that's that's not good. Yeah, I think we're done here. Well, I'll just upgrade to a 5-5 five, five spike, spike Factory. Just to see. Alright. It just changed the Sprite, but I'm pretty sure it still acts as your mind, as you see by the uh, Mass Explosion. Explosion, so don't worry. I guess we just use it as a test to see how close we end up getting uh, to popping this thing. Because, like, I bet we could get maybe halfway. Place your pets on how much HP we'll be able to take off Lunaris. Winner gets nothing. I guess for a spike, might be a little bit better than having a 3 3 or a 5 5 3. Because uh, I think if the spike stays, you still at least get the damage, like, from the Lunaris hitting the spikes. Whereas before, you'd only really get the explosions. Actually, why does it feel like it might be close to popping? Because uh, we've only gotten four rounds in, and we almost hit two skulls also. Oh, crap ton of lag. That might be because all the spikes were starting close over here. Yeah, hold up. Maybe there's a chance. I guess in that case, I should have to uh, the spike variety spikes. Try to target the Blooners in some way. Well, I can't believe the answer, a possible answer, was like literally right there all along. This will be a close one. R round 130 halfway. Let's try. Oh, I should have put it on far. Do you see? Far targets uh, that third lane, which I could have had earlier, but that's fine. Put it back in close. I guess bad news with Blooners in the corner is that it'll be doing way less damage because there's way less spikes, obviously, uh, able to intersect it. Okay, now it's finally finished turning the vent, so DPS should be skyrocketing. Hopefully, again, uh, Blooners will eat up this spike pile over here. I think it should, yeah. Based on the round and the amount of HP left, we might be able to beat this. Yeah, for call 138, it's a pretty long round. Like, a lot of DT, so that plays in my favor. As long as we stall the round long enough, which we can't control, but just the round being naturally long, uh, means there is a chance. The thing is, we lose, though, the moment 140 starts, so, uh, hopefully 139 is short. What else can I do? I'll do, uh, what do you call it? Normal targeting. Just so that more spikes hit, and what? Wait, I thought it was round 140 that the Lunar is supposed to kill me, but 139? Uh, okay then. That might just be how the boss mod works, but uh, anyone who gets close to 2.4 million, well, uh, that's off to you, because that's how close we got. Anyways, that's a challenge. If there's any takeaway from this, 555 spec OP. Make sure to do what my Spike Factory name says, and uh, see you next time.